Overleaf is an online LaTeX editor. It's a very easy to use tool. So you can use it to write your resume, your thesis writing, or any other important documents that you want to write systematically. So to start up with Overleaf, you have to go to the Google search engine. The good part of Overleaf is you don't need to install. You can just work online. You come here and type Overleaf. If you already have an account, you just sign in. If you don't have an account, you have to create by registering. You sign up and then you have an account. All you need is your email address and the password and you'll be good to go. So you come here where it says log in. Log in. So if you already have an account, when you log in, this is the page that comes. So LaTeX keeps track of the work that you've done so far and the time, the last time when you modified and who modified the work. So here, as you can see here, this work was last done five days ago and it was modified by the owner. This work here was done six days ago and it was modified by the collaborator so to start up with a new project you have to come here on this green button you click and then you go on create document so i'm going to call this my first overleaf project so my first project and then you come here and you create when you create this is the page that comes so you have three sections here this is where you write your your this is where your files will, will be created this is where you write your work if you come here as you can see my the title of my work is my first project the author is Chungu Precious One. The date this was created is April 2022. So you can write your dates there if you want. Here the, it says begin document. And here you have end document. And in between here, this is where you write your work. And then you come here where it says compile. When you compile, the work comes this side. So when I've compiled, I've finished doing my work, I've written everything, I can come here and download my document. I can start my work here. We said you write in begin document and end document. So you come here and write your first section. So my first section is uh, overleaf. This is my section. And then I compile. So my section one will be overleaf. And then I want to have a subsection to overleaf so to write a subsection you have to use a command start with backslash every command that you are writing you always use backslash so you write sub so the good part of overleaf it's it assists you with writing as you've seen i've just written sub and it's already finished for me so i need this subsection and inside there this is where I want to write my introduction. So this is my introduction to Overleaf. And when I compile here, I'm going to have 1.1. So this is my subsection to my Overleaf here. And here I can write my document, whatever I want to write. Even here I can enter here and write whatever I want to write. So again, if I want, I can write a sub subsection. So you do backslash. You write sub, so what I want is this one, sub, sub section. And uh, you write whatever you want to write. So here maybe I can say I want to write my equations here, equations in overleaf. And then you write there, so that would be my 1.1.1. And then you compile. So I'll give an example of writing equations if you want to write equations in overleaf. You always start with a dollar sign and end with a dollar sign. The good part of LaTeX is it's already assisting you. So you write dollar sign and in between the dollar sign here, this is where you write your equation. So you write 2x plus 2y is equal to 10. This is my equation. So now I want to write a simultaneous equation. So if I write here and say 3x plus 
3y is equal to 5 and when I compile so always remember to put dollar signs there and then if I compile this will come at the end here it will just continue as if it is one line so you always have to remember to terminate so let's try we see how this will come so you always terminate using the back slash so as you can see you see it's just coming in one line so you have to come here where you want to terminate your line and do that then you you've terminated your line and this will come in the next line so whatever i'm going to start writing and even if i came here and then i said this is my equation 1.1 it will come at the end of this if i don't terminate so there you go you terminate your sentence using the backslash the double backslash so this is how i can write my equation but there's another thing that i want to do so i want to include my figures so so this will be my maybe let's say my subsection i can say subsection and then i call it figures i want to include my figures here but i don't have any figures in in my overleaf so i have to include figures i have to upload so how do i go about it i come here upload then go to my computer wherever you've saved your your figures you can save in pdf you can save as pictures and so many more so when you upload this is the figure that has come here this is my picture 1813 so now how do i include now this figure in my work here so first of all in the preamble you have to use the package that says uh, include the figure so i can come here use package the package is you use for including figures is graphics then to include now my figure here you always use a backslash and say begin so here i want to write my figure here so you say begin figure there it comes it has already done everything it has even ended for me this is a good part so here this is where now i include my figure so my figure is 1830 so i have to write 18 before i even finish writing the good part of latex and then here this is where now you write your caption so what's the name of my figure this is my my succulent arrangement so this is the caption to my figure and then here you have to always write the way you'll be able to remember your figure if you'll be able to remember as figure one then well and good use figure one so for me it would be easier for me to remember this as a succulent i know this is where i included my succulent so i come here and type succulent because it's easier for me to remember so when you compile here you see that the figure will be maybe too big and it will fail to fit in so as you can see here my figure is too big so to reduce the size of my figure i can come here and then open square brackets and close square brackets so here you can write the width you can write width equal to if i want my figure to be maybe 10 centimeters 12 centimeters or i want it to be in line with the text you can say backslash line width so when i compile this is what i get as you can see now it has reduced in size and it's in line with uh, my text so now i want it to be here open square brackets close square brackets and put h so this figure is still coming on page two but i want it to be on page one and so maybe this figure is too big to fit in here but if i still want it there i can reduce my width and say six and that is what is fitting okay so this is how you include your figures in overleaf
thank you for your attention.